This space offers various points of interest. The first one is the Cruzeiro, Way of the Cross. Usually, most Cruzeiros have Christ on one side of the cross and the Virgin on the other. In most cases, a mercy, but here we have a Franciscan, making reference again to the Franciscan Order of the Trega. Not far from here, there is a monument with a number of carved symbols. It is a reproduction of the old chapel door with Poveda's engravings, paying homage to the fishermen from Povoa de Barcim in Portugal. These kingship symbols were carved in by them with pocket knives as testimony of having prayed in the hermitage. They would also perform a ritual called Biradatella, turn the roof tile, which consisted in turning a roof tile of the hermitage to make the wind change and help them return to Povoa de Barcim. If you walk along the right side of the hermitage, you will see a rock with a small cavity. This is the Coba da Santa. According to the legend, this is the place where Saint Trega slept. If you look closely, you will notice engraved crosses that were probably made by pilgrims and the relatives of fishermen begging the saint to return them from the sea. The hermitage of Santa Trega was built in the 12th century by the hermits from the Monastery of Oya, located between Aguarda and Bayona. Initially, it only consisted of what today is the high altar, the rest are extensions built in the 16th century. If you get a chance to enter the hermitage, you will see two Baroque altar pieces on both sides of the nave. The one on the right is dedicated to San Francisco and the one on the left is dedicated to Asuncion. The high altar is occupied by the Santa Trega, lawyer of mind and heart, accompanied by two Baroque wood panels donated by the Cistercian Order of the Monastery of Santa Maria de Oya. The one on the left shows the Virgin of the Sea, patroness of the Monastery of Oya, and the one on the right shows San Pablo, Saint Paul, her teacher. The hermitage owns two relics, a piece of bone from the saint's arm and a splinter from the cross on which Jesus was crucified. Upon exiting this building, please walk around the hermitage and leave the walled site through the other exit to find the next audio guide spot.